Hi guys, do we have someone here? Are you listening to me? Um, hi there. Let me just change some things here. Oh, nice. Thank you very much, bro. But you are looking at my screen, huh? I'm trying to make this the looks a little bit better, huh? This is this is shut box alert box donation thank you yes the jar must be up here as well let me chat why where do I have two chats here chat box here donation thicker okay so uh here we have what uh I'm trying to but I'm gonna discard this, okay? So, uh, here we have our Bitcoin chart. If you follow me on, let's go, Evil Jimmy. Thanks for having you here, huh? So, here we have our Bitcoin chart. Hmm. This is not, <laughs> not news for us, right? One, two, three, four, five. We have finished this. Impulse down here, right? This impulse wave down. One, two, three, four, five. Then we are. Then we have this wedge here. I proposed a different structure here, okay, for this wedge. This is not a uh, 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 usual structure, but it's a leading edge, a uh, leading diagram. Sorry. That is composed of one, two, three, four, five for our wave way, okay. But within this wave way, this uh, one, two, one, two, okay. This is our way, our A wave, okay. Then we have a B. And I see this is a corrective pattern, okay? This is a leading diag for in a wave A in a corrective pattern. We are correcting this movement down here, okay? Um <clears throat> this is a leading diag that is that is um composed of trees. So in this wave one we have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's unusual, okay? But it's in within the rules. And it looks like pretty much what we have so far. All right? Let's just see what we have here, right? Uh, at least for me it's pretty pretty clear, huh? 1 2 3 A B C. Wave 1. A B here we have our A B C 2. A B C, okay, for a wave three, A, A, this one is not clear, but A, B, C, wave four, A, B, C, five, we try to touch the, the top of the wedge, but we couldn't, then we start falling, yeah, if you, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, down the music volume a bit, so I can, Oh, I'm sorry, bro. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Sorry. The music is so boring. And, yeah. Like this. Okay, sorry. Uh, so, as I was saying, this is the leading diag composed of three, 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 three. And then we finish this wedge here. Ideally, we would touch this this uh, top line here of the edge but we couldn't we this is a strong resistance as a lot of analysts has been saying this is the 6800 around this region it's really hard we had a double top here almost yes the, the two here try to to break it hard this this resistance but it couldn't then we just fall it down this is our tree that might or might we need to go down one more time for 
the B to be complete. Yeah, A. Yes, this A here. Uh, this is the A, B, C of wave B. Okay. Assuming that this, this expanded, this expanded corrective pattern is correct. Uh, this is our wave A, okay? I am, I'm, I am assuming that we haven't finished wave 3, not yet. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, we have finished wave 3, but we are correcting wave 4 now. To put wave 4 in and then one more leg down to our wave 5, but we don't have a lot of steam to really go down and break uh, out to break this cluster here you see this is a lot of uh, support this is the 6 to 100 resistance so I wouldn't say this is not uh, of course I, I am predicting it but I'm for I'm forecasting it okay this is gonna act as a strong support okay if we break down here damn we're gonna see that we're gonna need to recount this whole th whole structure here huh? but the way I see it is that we have this wave 3 here okay we finish it yes it's pretty damn sharp like a wave 3 should be okay we have here a truncated fifth inside this wave 3 perhaps we haven't finished wave 3 yet yeah but it seems like it has finished then we put in wave four and we finish our wave five okay here i'm sorry let me put it inside wave a with this just to make it uh, consistent okay okay then we would have an a b c correction here 50 percent at least of this movement would correct to the region of 60 600 6500 and then we would go we would go down again okay perhaps a double bottom here or something like this it would get stopped but we would hit this resistance here okay this would be our wave b uh, then huh. and we'll have five waves up okay five waves up to finish this this would be our any diagonal okay one two three four five um to finish this structure here let me note one, two, three, four, five. Oops. I'm sorry, this. Oh, damn. Damn you, sorry, guys. This. Let me. One, okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Let me put the wave so then we can see it. This would be the, the structure. Let me put a different color. White is good. Okay. okay, this would be the whole structure. If this flat corrective pattern is correct, okay, we are correcting this impulse down here, five waves down. We are correcting it in a flat pattern, okay? Uh, leading diag, three, 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 three. Three, one, three, 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 three. Okay, this is a leading diag. A, it's uh, it's possible in a wedge. Okay, and then we have this first wave A, then a B, C, B, then a C going up, leading, ending diagonal. Okay, then what would happen? Yeah, after C an impulse wave or a five waves correction. Okay, good question. Hmm. As I have spotted, uh, and uh, one of my friends there in a Discord said, we might have an inverted head and shoulder. Okay, let me get a different Bitcoin chart here. Okay, this one. This is, I, I want a daily chart here. Okay, just so then we can see it a little bit better. Okay, we might have a head and shoulder here. Okay. Let me draw it for you guys. An inverted head and shoulder, I'm sorry. This would be the left shoulder. It would be the head. Then we would have this. Yeah, yeah. Not the hugest fan of this pattern though, huh? 
I'm sorry. Let me draw in again. This will be the left shoulder. The head. Left shoulder there. Then we need to put in this right shoulder, okay? I'm not drawing it correctly. Not the per... Yeah, it's supposed to be something like this. Okay? Uh, right shoulder. I'm sorry. Following the rules here of the inverted shoulder, left shoulder has more volume now than the right shoulder, okay? And we would go up. This is a bullish pattern, okay? If we go up, like, correcting this wave C, as I put here, okay? No, I don't ignore your questions. Uh, my liquid price is 5,800. Do you see us touching this before we going up? Uh, I'm sorry, guy. <laughs> I don't ignore your question. <laughs> I just saw the Gorillas question first. Um, okay, let me first answer this question here, then I answer your question about your liquid liquidation price. This right shoulder here, okay, and um, so it's it's good. It's it has a little bit of uh, less volume, like we have, okay, less volume. You see, it's pretty clear. Left shoulder, higher volume. Right shoulder would have less volume, and I have a blank screen now. Something happened. What the heck? Bit stamp. <laughs> Come on. So, sorry guys, uh, a blank screen for for a, for a couple of seconds there. Yeah. So, this is this is what that this is what this might be playing on, okay? This might be one possible scenario. And then we would break above. How much we would break above the length of the head, okay? We go here and we measure like this, okay? This would break here. This would break this resistance, 6800, and it would get to 7800, okay? This is a pot, this is one of, this is a possible scenario, okay? Um, but we need to account for all the other things, okay? We need to account for this 21, EMA that we have broken down so we don't have um, moving average here supporting us we are in a we are now we are we have a reaction on the daily chart but it's difficult to tell huh uh, so your question toxic Korean uh, if you are going to get liquidated man yeah, I don't have a I'm not sure. I can't tell you if whether or not if it's going to break this resistance here. If if and only if it breaks this resistance here, six to one hundred. Yes, we are going down. C might be down here. We might have an expanded B, and we might see something like six eight hundred. But I do think that this region here is going to be hard to break. Okay. Uh, this is so. Wait a second. So that's uh, this 6100. I think is gonna hold the this movement down here. I think. I'm not sure. No one is sure. No one analyst out there can tell you for sure whether this this support here is gonna hold or not. Okay. That's uh, that's a difficult, a tough question. What I would suggest you if put a stop loss here, guy. If you have a liquidation price down there, six eight hundred, hmm, don't wait for that long. If put a stop loss six one hundred, this is this is what this is my piece of device, six one hundred six one hundred fifty, or you watch it closely, and you have a tight slope stop loss right down like a six k, okay. Uh, this is why I see shallow. You are looking at the head and shoulders inverted. I wouldn't count on a inverted head and shoulder because we don't have the volume confirmation on the right shoulder. Perfect. Yes, we don't. I'm just presenting this scenario here. We don't have this. We don't. 
we, we can't count this as a as a right shoulder, not yet. I'm just presenting this might happen, okay? This is one possible scenario for the future, okay? For August, okay? End of July, no, August. This, this is gonna take some time to play, right? We might have a, a deeper shoulder here, something like this, but not so much volume. Yeah. But like I, like I said, yeah, my wave C is shallow. This wave C here, right? Yes, this wave C is shallow. It might be shallow for two reasons, okay? One is because I see this resistance here, as I was explaining, right? I see this resistance here, a strong resistance, uh, 6100. If we break below it, yes, we might see a really deep C, okay? Uh, but I think it's gonna be a shallow, perhaps a double bottom. It's not, it, it, it's not impossible, and it's a uh, likely, it's likely to happen. Okay. Uh, do you prefer log or arithmetic scale, and why? I prefer log scale when I'm looking at Bitcoin, for instance. Okay, I can spot some price. I, I, for instance, if I turn this off, nothing changes. Okay. But if I go to the daily chart, this is the daily, okay? If I put log, if I take log, nothing changes. But let me zoom out here, okay? When I zoom out, when I, I when I am in log scale and when I turn it off, you see that you, in longer time frames, like daily, weekly, I can't see anything here. But when I turn on the log scale, then I see it. Okay, I see the the movement and then I can count the waves and then I have more information I have more data okay this is the best this situation like daily charts when I'm looking at the at long periods of time I prefer to use log because otherwise you have a flat pattern see you don't have data here arithmetic but when you turn on the log you have data okay you have data to see it's is the best way to use log scale in my opinion okay when you have a lot of a lot of data you need to and you need to see what's going on 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 higher time frames for instance daily weekly and monthly perhaps okay again okay, guys um a lot of uh, analysts are really looking at this right uh forget the ready head and shoulders inverted head and shoulders for a sec okay this is a possible scenario but one thing that we need to bear in mind is that we are this is our 200 ema 100 ema we have crossed it this is the 55 21 we don't have a support we uh, we had this brief support in june this was june or july this was July for some one, two, three, four, seven, day, one, eight, one week. We were above the 21 EMA, but now we are down. Okay. So it's it's difficult to tell what's gonna happen yes, if we don't have support. Um, it's difficult to tell if we are going to, if I have a bullish count, I don't have a bullish count. Okay. Um, Murphy, yes, hey. Uh, so I don't have a bullish count. I think that what we have here is a correction of this structure here, okay? With this flat corrective pattern of this whole one, two, three, four, five. Yes, yeah, I explained here a three, 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 leading diag for our wave A, okay? For our wave A, and then we would have this lead, this ending diag for wave C. That could potentially bring the price down, okay? That's what, the, if, it, if we take, if we understand that this is the correction of this pattern here, of this wave down impulse, one, two, three, four, five, then we would have, if this is a correction, then we would go down again, okay? That's what, that's what I would tell you guys. Then, hmm. Uh, one thing that I would like to share with you is uh, the monthly chart, Bitcoin, 
we are not that bearish if you take a look if you if, if we're not that bearish who am i to tell that but let me let it just yes we have you see the monthly chart we have a doji but doji a candle the doji candle here but we have retraced all the way to the 21 ema but we have react but and now we have this doji but the month is has not it's not finished not yet yeah the month is going on this is the monthly chart let's see the week chart yes liquid the weekly chart we are below the 55 below the 21 the 100 hasn't been touched so yes this is and the 100 dma uh, 200 dma here we can't just disregard we don't have enough data to consider it not not even the the 100 dma it's not that important but the, those two here you see we are going down perhaps we we can see a golden cross but i wouldn't call this a golden cross okay but this is this is a spec this is a, only a speculation okay something like this might happen but this is a speculation it, it's only if we just see a surge in price that is would that would be crazy like hell right uh one friend of mine yesterday told me to take a look at the 20 um uh, 2015 july i think 2050 to see the pattern and compare uh, let's take a look here because if we take a, just one second before i go to that let's take a look at july last year okay this is july last year guys you see you were in a not at all in the same situation but we have we had back then a kind of a kind of a bearish my we i can't say this is a, this was a bearish this was a correction of this impulse wave here but then we this was july last year right 17 then we uh, after the if this is some kind of encouragement for us this was july last year yes but we were uh, one two thousand yeah we 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 get we got as low as 1800 yes but we we had we hadn't touched the 200 dma back then huh? and we are now below it so it's difficult to compare the situation we can compare the I don't know the period the time period july last year year and july now but it's really difficult to see uh to see any kind of uh of resemblance of the market the market is so different now he can't see our link man meaning it's on the why don't we have an abc correction of the one two three four five going down and then another one two three four five going to 4k Meaning it's going on the edge of the bear flag. I can't see. You can't click on the delete message and see the link. I did stream before as well. Oh, no, no, sorry, bro. Where, where is the? Hey, I draw this chart. What do you think about this pair? Uh, Korean toxic Korean. I can't see the the. Oh, I see three points here. If I click, I can. Is that it? I can't see it I'm sorry I draw the chart then I have three points uh, let me see if I can show you the link now you guys can see it if I I, I, I click it on the on the link but I can't see the link here as well huh huh uh, I am blocking the links. My bot, yes, let me just I'm sorry, let me just show moderation actions, show mod mod icons, yeah, see manage moderation settings. Let me just take a look for a sec.
someone can tell me how I how I enable you guys to send me shards because I'm not I really I'm really love seeing it I can't see it I'm going to settings I will permit PM it to you okay because I can't see it hmm see guys okay this is this is Murphy I will PM it to you okay I'm waiting okay um, okay I'm waiting for your PM uh, because I can't see how to nightbot or just twitch uh, no, no, it's not just tweet. I use the the Streamlabs. Could be the Streamlabs that is blocking the message, or if or I can enable it on the. Let me see the settings here. Show moderation actions. Uh, show message. Caught by the bot. Let me see. Um, sorry guys, yes, I'm learning as well, huh? As you can see, I'm showing you guys my my editor here. This is the Streamlabs. Mm. I can't see, show my direction, actions, forward mod, timestamp, dark mod is okay. Let me put the dark mod. Yeah, so it's way better. Yeah. Okay, now I have your message. Um, but not here for some weird. It's weird. Let me reload it. I'm gonna reload it here, and then I'm gonna s yes open your message here. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> Hey Kinashi, uh, we have you have this channel here, right? Mm. This is a bullish count, okay? Uh, you guys see it? This channel, we have this channel here, and we are going. We have now this channel here. Uh, I I have a similar count here. You see. This is my chart that I, I would say that's my, my bullish count, <laughs> but it's so difficult to believe that something like this is happening. Okay, you see, we see some reaction. This is a one-hour chart like yours here. This was a four-hour chart, right? This is a four-hour chart. Let me put a four-hour chart like yours there. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Yes, uh, the way you drawn it there, it has broke the the resistance down here, right? I, I can't we can put it a little bit higher and just allow the weeks to break our channel, yeah, which is fine. It's fine like this. Then it would you would you would count it like what? One, two, three. This is this can't be a four. This can be a four. Yes, it can. Why I don't count this as an ABC? Someone asked me, right? Why I can't count this as an ABC? This part here. I, I think it was Godzilla. Some uh, someone like this. Uh, this name or something, right? This can't be counted as an ABC because it's a clear cut. Damn, clear cut <laughs> impulse wave. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Wow. Sorry. In, in, and in this, in, and I can see not one, two, three, four, five here. I can see ABC, ABC, ABC. And this pattern here, this corrective pattern here, this leading diag of uh, composed of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's so more. 
uh, aligned with what we have here then considering this is an impulse wave one two three four five it's different and this price action here it's uh, i just can't see us and want to i know i know what you what you would say you would say it's something like this it would have an impulse wave here one two three four five then an a b c it would be the same thing okay and then i would have to put our four here okay is that so uh if you say that if you allow for that okay like like heiki nashi here right oh you know have your ishimoku here yes it's uh by the way in the buy zone here uh if you allow this to be a way for it's gonna break this channel you see if if okay I, i'm not i'm not inclined to I, I i i don't see this as an i don't see this as a as a viable count but you see even a b here it would violate this channel anyway okay you can't just say it's an abc to put a two here this would be a finish one two three four five okay then a a b c yeah this works here because it's a corrective pattern okay we are correcting this is a flat correction of our one two three four five impulse down here okay and we have a wedge here instead of a channel and then we broke this wedge now it makes more sense okay one thing oh and one second uh there's that makes sense yes uh korean um heiki nashi <laughs> beautiful name seriously i like it uh one one second i i need to add one more thing okay uh in bitstamp on on bitstamp we this count here has been invalidated okay as an impulse wave you see here in this is bitstamp okay in bit on bitstamp this count here we have this long week that in bit on bitstamp this is the lowest low of the year okay and it's a significant it's a significant thing yeah the, in, on bitstamp this count has been invalidated as an impulse okay we can't count it as an because we have a true overlapping okay overlapping no breaking the region of wave zero here of the initial wave one okay on bit step it's it invalidates this count but why i consider this count as possible as a leading diag a because it's a corrective pattern it's a flat pattern we it's different with we, we, we are not considering this an, as an impulse up okay this is corrective it's a leading diagonal uh, composed of trees abc 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 okay and but but to consider this as a one two three four five impulse wave motive wave and then put a two here how do we how do we um concile with this wick here breaking the invalidated the invalidating the the bullish count do you guys see it makes total sense right how how can we account for this channel here if we broke it on bit stamp one exchange one exchange is enough right to, well, of course it's not enough to change everything but we need to it's a it's a big exchange so we need to understand why it happened there and i am accounting for this because that's why i'm using bitstamp what do you guys think about it huh it's uh i know we all <laughs> we all want to be bullish yeah <laughs> we all want this this trend to change to bullish because come on life is so easy yeah hard to say i see your point yeah yeah it's hard to say 
This is my account. This is an ABC corrective pattern. I'm not saying that, not saying that I'm right. Okay, I'm not saying. I might be. And what we can do? We can trade, of course, if it's go down here. We have confidence. We can get this wave up, or we can short here. Yeah, well, yeah. Of course, we we lost. If you, ha I I was short in here. If you if you weren't, you you lost this chance here because it's a, it was a easy trade. This one, it was clear that it would go down. Doesn't need to 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 put on your Elliott wave hat. You just need to follow that. You just need to spot that the buying pressure was f was f f um, failing to get past this region until it. We have this long week here that a lot of people just short like hell and then we break broke down this wedge here down okay but now we i don't know i wouldn't recommend you guys to long here because it's going against the trend right if you long here you need to, to put a stop loss uh, really if you put a tight stop loss you're gonna get um, long weeks here and it's a risky trade, okay? Uh, as currently, it's quite unclear compared to most other situations. Can't you average down? Yes, you can average down. You mean ladder your buys here, right? Of course you can ladder your buys. You can ladder your buys, but uh, I am, I'm not gonna buy Bitcoin. That's uh, that I'm not gonna loan me personally. I can ladder here, of course. You can ladder here, okay. Uh, I'm quite frankly, I am not seeing Bitcoin breaking down this region, not yet. Like I said at the beginning, I, 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 I don't see it breaking it, not now. But uh, <laughs> this is a, a leverage market, this is. This is cryptos, yeah? We, we can see it. It's It might surprise us. So then, I will ladder my buys here, of course. If I if I were too long here, okay? I would put, um, I don't know, here at the resistance, right? That this resistance, I'm sorry, this support. And I would put my stop loss here at 6,000. And I would aim to the minus 33 60 because this is a algo target and i want to be conservative okay this would be my target for wave c okay doesn't need to i would target the wave three of the c okay this would be a 431 risk reward you risk reward yes <laughs> monthly chart of bc looks so damn ugly yeah so this is the setup if you want to if you want to long it's not that bad okay not that bad not bad not that bad at all hmm. if you want to long this is a possibility wait for this retracement here right B C but I don't know wait for this B in short it's also good eh? but then hmm. You need to consider a stop loss as well, huh? Why? Because it might go up. So then if you have B, let me take this this um, Fibonacci here. Let's see. If wave A goes to this region here, if because we we don't we don't know yet, okay, where the the wave A is gonna really finish. Let's assume that's finished here. Then B is gonna end like here, perhaps a little. Okay, hmm. it's not the best setup to to short. You see, you don't have a lot of profit. On. You're not gonna see a, a huge something like this. Hmm. Uh, where is my? This is my short. Yes. Hmm. Nah. I would put it like other in the region of wave one here because it's a obvious resistance. But if you are buying, if you are shorting here, and this is a three to one, yeah, three, 
15. If you're assuming that C is gonna go down here. This is a setup. Uh, this is a short, yeah? Hmm. Then you put your stop loss a bit higher than you see. It's not a really good risk reward. True. Nah. No, no, I wouldn't short it either. What I would, what I am considering entering is EOS. Okay, EOS. I have the same pattern. You see, expanded B. But come on, guys. <laughs> EOS. We had yesterday a uh, really low, a really damn low RSI. If you follow me on Twitter, oh snap! <laughs> this is my Twitter, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is finished, yeah, A, B, C, you have this, this diagonal, in it. it's pretty much done, okay, at least in my opinion, come on, if we go lower than this, it has, uh, when the, we broke the previous low, so we are now in a new, but we had a reaction, don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going lower, what is my setup here? Um, I entered here, okay? I entered yesterday. I'm doing this. Okay? Way better, right? I'm gonna aim for this. This this red line here, guys, you see? This is the resistance, okay? We can't broke it. Double top here. It's gonna break the 944 bucks resistance. We don't know. So then I aim at the resistance because I want to be conservative. This is my risk reward ratio, 535. And then and we have room to go up. Okay. I have posted this this chart on my Twitter account. This is an ABC. This is the same thing. Okay. The same pattern. One, two, three, four, five. Leading diag A. One, two, three. Leading diag corrective pattern, okay? And then we'll have our C. I don't care if the C goes really high. I just want to take some profit, okay? I would go long. This one, I, I enter my long, okay? Hello, hello. Hi, Templar Crypto. I have to bounce. Time to eat. Thanks for the live. Hello, okay. I will be back. Thank you, guys. Um, yes, so... I need to go as well. Yeah, I need to have. I temper. I'm sorry, bro. You come. <laughs> Please watch it. The I I've um I mentioned the head and shoulder that that we discussed yesterday. Yes. So this is my setup for the EOS. I think this is a good trade. Okay. This is an awesome trade. We are reacting. You see, we are reacting, but. We might have not finished. Let me see if if I understand that this is a B. A here. This is weird as fuck. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, might have one wave down. Be, uh, be prepared, guys, okay? Take a look at the, at the price action of... Uh, of EOS, if it goes lower, it's a buy. It's not going. You see the RSI. We had the reaction. Now this this line here is acting as support. So if it goes down like this, you see, I have drawn this line here to show you guys here, and it act exactly like I predicted. Now it's going to do something like this. I think. I think. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Questions, guys. I need to go. I posted you an EOS TA do PM. EOS is riskier than you think. Yes, I know EOS is riskier than I think because people are fudding. It's come on, it's talking a lot, but I don't I don't see a lot of uh, problems with EOS regarding uh, okay, first of all, I'm not a long trader. I'm not a, a long investor in EOS. I'm gonna take advantage of the sh of what the chart is presenting. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, hold 
EOS. So I don't know if your sh whether your chart is about uh, about some information. Let me see the let me see your chart. Mm -hmm. A B C D E. Hmm. Let me dig in this thing. Yeah. This is daily, huh? So D E. Oh, but this is EOS Bitfinex EOS BTC. Hmm. I'm sorry, I I don't know how to correlate it. But this is the daily chart. Hmm. You have a triangle A B C, and inside the C you have an A B C D E. You can't have it, bro. And and um. An expanded flat in a in a anti diag in a in a wave C. I, I can't follow it. I'm sorry. Because see, you have um. Let me let me check it here. Let me use this EOS here. Uh, okay, let me check the daily as you proposed. Um, allow me for the log. It's uh, what I use you. Okay, you are proposing a triangle, right? Um, you are proposing um. Let me see. You're proposing a triangle, and let this is your TA. Okay, A B C, taking from the highest point. Let me check here. The highest point was twenty-three bucks. Okay, taking from the highest point, this is our A, 1, 2, 3, B, C. Yeah. Um, okay, you are putting, yes, you see, you're, you are, you are right, you are putting a triangle in wave C. Where you labeled your wave C, you are writing a, something like a triangle here but it, it can't be bro a triangle in a wave c is it's in in a triangle corrective pattern like hmm it's not what uh, wave c is uh, we can have a, a a flat correction a flat a b c d e triangle in a wave b it's common but not in a wave c so i don't see it as a and here we have a doji okay candle okay, with my the stochastic is nasty okay i give you that that's why i have my stop losses forget a triangle just the waves i can for wave c is an earlier way with the same target abc correction with one one extension no okay one and one extension i understand what you're saying so let me check the one on one extension here this is i don't know if you're using the weeks but I, i'm gonna assume you are one on one extension man this is nasty if you say that this is going to three bucks is that what you're saying hmm. i don't think it's possible sorry if you're assuming an a b c as a long C like this, flat, you see, the problem is, <clears throat> I understand that you're saying that it's a one-to-one -one correction, this is a one-to-one -one extension, okay, but this is, this should go to three bucks, okay, the pro and the problem is that if the, the price section of this movement here is a flat one, not a, um, a sharp pattern as we would see in a in a wave c i'm not saying that we won't go lower okay we, we have room to go lower to and not break this resistance here this line this trend line here that we can't draw it like here right it's okay we can this is a this isn't an edge but this is a, f a falling edge yeah it's a bullish pattern i see we bouncing here not otherwise yes you are using your sbdc and i'm using your s dollar because come on <laughs> uh, 
you're using your S BTC, but I'm sorry, I need to use DOR. I, I don't use BTC as a as the the, the as the the pair. I use only dollars. This is my my system, man. I don't use BTC. I I, I take into account your account here, of course. Your this is your wave C. It's a you are taking an A, B, C, the, 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 the chart is almost the same, almost the same, okay. Uh, this is the daily, the stochastic RSI here is a little bit different, we are touching here, we have a really low volume of selling pressure, yeah. Hmm. I would consider that um, we might go lower, definitely. Especially if Bitcoin is crashed for some reason, yeah? <laughs> and it's gonna go perhaps a bit... We, we have this resistance here that I don't think is, we are going to, to break now, okay? But I don't think we are going to, to get to three bucks. If this is an A and this is a B, I'm standing A, B, this is a 100% 1 to 1 extension, okay? I am assuming that, and the RSI, come on, is pretty low as well. We we need to see s some kind of reaction before we we go to lower lows. But I see some action right now going down. EOS, uh, a lot of fud out there, huh? People, I think people are trying to really low the price of this. So. EOS crashing around, yeah. My trading is risky, yes. My trading is risky. I entered yesterday, okay. Based on this, on this analysis here, I entered. But I entered here at the bottom at sixth. I I I kid you not. I catch the bottom. Six eighty was my average. Six six eighty bucks. So. I, and I have my my stop loss six feet six fifty one, and I am on. A, if I decided to put a training stop loss and get my profit, now it's okay. If it goes down, you know, I'm gonna watch this closely to see if it really goes down and crash badly, and uh, just to not be on a bad trade. Okay, but thank you for your for your um for your heads up okay guys i got to wrap up here so thank you very much for all your support for all your um for for the new followers and everything um so take everything that i said with as an advice okay and if you like my content please follow me and subscribe on my my YouTube channel. If you don't have my YouTube channel, if you don't have the the link, I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna let me just find it. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down here. This is my YouTube channel, and that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you for all of you. Thank you for all the support and for the heads up. And we see each other next one. Bye.